Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how we can set up a custom SharePoint page template as our default template. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and here we have one site. Let me open that. So this is my site with the name of Twitter. I will open this site in my new tab. Okay friends, so now we are on our site with the name of Twitter. I will go to my site contents. And inside site contents, we have page library. Let me open that. So friends, whenever we create a site, when uh, you know the page is created by default, which is this home.aspx and these rest pages are created by me. So now let's see how we can set a custom SharePoint page template as a default template. I am the owner of this particular site. Let me close this and I will click on the gear icon and here we have an option of add a page. I will click on this. All right, uh, let me give the page name. So I will give it a name. Test page. All right. And just because I want, I will be creating this page as a custom page template, making the necessary changes and the web parts which I want to add, I will add them accordingly. I will add the quick links. Let me click on this. I will create a three columns here. I will add my quick links here. I, I would like to add my recent documents and here let me add. What should I add here? I will add my document library. So this will be my custom page template after, you know, doing the changes on the page, I will click on publish. So my page is getting published. Now, as soon as you will click on publish, you will get these options like add a page to navigation post a uh, news on the site, email, Yammer. And the last option you will get is of save as page template. So I will click on this. You will get a message. This page template saved on your site. Now we have to give the name to this particular template. So I will give it a name. Okay. I have given the name page template. Now we'll click on save page template. Okay. Our, you can see the message. This is the page template saved on your site. So let's see where it gets saved. So we'll click on the site contents. And here in site contents, we'll again go to my page library. I will open this. All the pages which you will create by clicking on new or like the site pages, they will be, you know, listed like this. But when you save the page as a template, you will see one folder will get created with the name of templates. If you will open this, the same page which we set as a template is will be created inside the folder templates. I will open this page and this is the same page which we, you know, created as a template. Okay. So this is our page, which we saved as a template. Now to create page using the same template, what we need to do, we'll click on the gear icon and here we'll click on add a page. So as soon as we'll click on add a page, you will get these options like the blank visual and basic text. These are the, you know, the default pages. We can select these and we can, you know, create our pages. These are basically the, you know, the templates which are offered by the Microsoft. Now here the page which we created as our template is listed here. Pages template. If you will click on it, you can see the same template is used. And now you can create page using the same template. But I don't want to, you know, select all these options. You can see this is the visual. This is the basic text. I don't want to, you know, select every time the uh, particular template. I simply want whenever I click on add a page, simply the page should be created using the same 
paste template. So for that, what we need to do, we can simply click on this three dot and we can select the option of set default selection. I will select this option. So it will give you the pop up changing the default selection template changes. It will for all the users on the site. Do you want to continue? So I will click on OK. So all the users which have the permission, let me cancel it and let me show you what I exactly mean. So every time users will click on add a page. Now they, you know, can simply click on create a page and the page will be created using the template, which we set as a custom template. Now the user will automatically without clicking on these can create template using this template. Now, because this template is now set to the default page template. So now we'll click on create a page and you can see the our template, which we saved is now used. And here the users can give the name to their page. Like if the user will give the name. Okay. I have given the name pages for the test. Now user will click on publish. Let me close this. I will go to the site contents. Site pages, pages library. And you, you can see the page is now created using the same template. Let me open it in a new tab. You can see the new page is created using the template. So friends, that's how we can set our custom SharePoint page template as our default template. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.